So what I did right here is I made a test piece of fiberglass just to check delamination. And what it has is it has a quarter inch foam core. And that is held together by three sheets on each uh, side of, of fiberglass. And obviously we're using West Systems Epoxy, which is what they use for helicopter blades, just to let you know. I'm sure most of you all know. But basically, I have a also a half inch of foam in here, just to check what the structure will hold. So we will test it for its stiffness and, and, and see what it can hold. But mostly we're just trying to check if we have de uh, delamination problems. My, my thought is, the, these, um, the structure is actually, it's more surface area, so it's, it's able to grab onto a lot more. Uh, I'm, I'm saying it on the top, it's probably 25% more surface area than just this flat piece. So if anyone was to de delaminate sooner than the other, I mean, I would, I would definitely assume that this would be the, the flat part that, that would delaminate first, but let's just check this out. All right, so I'm going to put 155 pounds if I can balance on this. Here we go. This is my balance. Ready? We're going to just test the, uh, the strength of the foam core. All right, here we go. 155 pounds. You might hear a little bit of cracking slowly. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I'm on it. 155 pounds. <laughs> That's kind of tough to, uh, to balance, but it actually looks like just cracking a little bit but with that still still laminated so the results are it's still intact and it's still completely usable it is delaminated probably a little bit but it is still usable uh, at 155 pounds now I would never uh, for the the application that I'm using I don't need 155 pounds so this is way way overkill I mean I I don't even need anywhere close to that but just to know that just one little spot can hold that so uh, it's 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 a good sign so testing is going well um, but also foam core is just it's it's just incredible it's it's a great thickness multiplier it's cheap and it's basically uh, it's a great way to make strong parts quick and fast cheap.